Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be my unboxing of the all new High Tech X2 AC Pro. Now this is a, a pretty cool little charger here from High Tech. High Tech's known for servos, chargers, all sorts of things in the RC industry. Now this charger is pretty cool and when I saw this released a couple of months ago, it was really kind of amped, uh, so to speak, to get this thing in here at the studio. Um, now, of course, you're seeing something different on this one, and that has to do with this little cord-looking thing right here. This one actually has a built-in soldering station on a two-port, 100-watt per channel charger, which is pretty cool. Now, we're in this video, we're going to be going over what comes in the box, and I will have a separate video uh, coming out soon uh, to show the full operation of this charger, so stay tuned for that. Now, really quick, let's go over some of the specs on the box. Of course, you have multi-chemistry, so you can charge two different chemistry batteries on either channel, or the same chemistry on both channels, doesn't matter. So, pretty much, uh, pretty flexible throughout. You do have a built-in soldering station, which is cool. This is an AC-DC charger, so not only can you plug it into your house current, you can um, have a separate power supply uh, to just kind of amp up the rating on this charger. So 200 watts per channel in the AC mode, and you can uh, kind of amp it up and go 200 on the A channel if you choose to run a DC mode uh, power supply, and then 100 watt on the B channel. So if you have one of those huge batteries you want to charge pretty quick, uh, you can do that on the A channel with using a separate power supply. Now on to the flip side over here. Um, pretty cool design. It has lots of uh, things that you want in a charger and different capabilities and other things. Uh, one thing that I really liked about this also is you have the ability to um, purchase a separate Wi-Fi module and you can connect it to your smartphone, which is pretty cool. So uh, both available in the App Store and Google Play, so it supports the two main platforms on the planet, and you're able to kind of check out uh, what your charger's doing while you're maybe on the track or whatever the case is. So on the other side right here, shows a good look of that uh, included uh, soldering station, which is really nice. I'm really curious to see how this thing will do. 60 watt max, goes up to 840 degrees. I think this is a great solution when you're kind of mobile and going to a track or someplace and you need to just get a little bit of a, a quick fix to uh, maybe some of your electronics. Well, let's get this thing open and let's see what you get inside the box here. So I um, just got this in just like literally yesterday and I, I'm really kind of and to see what it looks like inside now. Typical, uh, great uh, packaging from high tech. Uh, everything's, you know, hermetically sealed, so to speak. Um, right here, we get a pretty thick owner's manual for the X2. Um, you know, nice to kind of keep in your pit bag and just refer to this if you happen to need something. Has a nice little flow chart in here, which I always like. Kind of gets you through the menus and whatnot if you're looking for a particular item. Um, let's go over some of the boring stuff here. I'm going to pull all of this stuff out. So we can kind of take a look at this stuff. I haven't really looked through this yet, so I want to uh, kind of familiarize myself as uh, we kind of look at this thing. So I'm going to set the charger off to the side. Nice bagged up look to it here. Um, first thing I'm coming to is a little baggie right here. And this, I believe, is a stand. And also very minimalistic stand. This thing basically just bends up right here. You're able to at least set your iron somewhere, and it also has one of those little thin sponges you fill with water, and that we have some place to kind of clean off your uh, soldering gun. So uh, nice that they're including that. Here's your AC power cord, you know, USA, just plug straight in, very similar to all the other power cords on the market. You do get a full um, multi uh, uh, balance port here. So you get this one for the A channel. You do just get a very minimalistic one here. This is XH, which is pretty much 90% of the LiPo batteries on the market now. So that's going to be for your, your B side. Um, you know, it would have been nice if they included two of these, but I get why that they don't, um, you know, to keep our costs, our initial um, point of purchase down. So there's those two. Right here we get um, some pre-soldered uh, leads here, so you can put on your choice of um, connectors. So if you want to go Deans or Traxxas or whatever the case is, they got you at least set up and ready to go. Uh, looks like we have some 
uh, slightly different uh, plugs here that I've seen than the usual banana plugs. So I'm going to have to inspect that a little bit further. Right here we have two other leads. Looks like, oh, it actually does come with a Dean's connector right there. And it looks like this is going to be for your uh, DC out, I believe. So at least they have that with it as well. All right, now the fun stuff. So it looks like we do have a couple of things in here. So this is going to be the main unit right here for your actual uh, soldering gun. And it looks like we have two different tips. We do have these are kind of like uh, sealed like in a, a medical bag almost. Uh, but we do have a, a kind of chisel tip right there. And then we have a pointed one. Now these are very fine. Really like uh, the idea of these things. And these are just basically, um, they just get snapped into that gun handle. Now the gun handle is really nice. Uh, kind of a rubber feel up here. Um, you know, to kind of keep your 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 hands away from the heat. Uh, you know, 840 degrees, that's nothing to kind of squawk at. So um, pretty nice design. So let's get all that stuff out of the way. Let's take a look at the charger now. So pretty large charger, actually a little bit larger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's go ahead and get this wrap off of here so we can take a look. Also sealed very nicely to kind of protect the finish of it. Nice red design, uh, you know, pretty uh, pretty nice all overall. It has a little screen protector on here. Looks like uh, your typical buttons right there, your enter, decrease, increase, battery program, and then whether you're on the A channel or B channel, Let's take a look around here. Those are going to be those kind of different designed uh, banana plugs. Usually we have, you know, just the four millimeter banana plugs. A little bit different design that they've went with on this. So um, you have the A port and the B port. Uh, down here you have your balance, um, little adapter plates go into there. Two temperature sensors, that is a separate item. Uh, you have a PC link and also a uh, USB charger it looks like. So it looks like five volt, 2.1 amp. Not sure if that's going to be able to power maybe a, a smartphone or whatnot. That's going to be the actual uh, connector for your uh, soldering gun. So right up front, everything's up front on this charger. Side here, huge uh, ports here and also a big fan is built in. I believe on the other side too. So this thing's going to keep pretty cool. On the back side here, you have your DC out and then your AC in. So very nice design. Underside here, no kickouts, but you do have nice rubber um, little feet here to keep the vibration down from the fans but all in all really nice charger well guys my next video is going to be showing this thing in motion and I'm going to try some soldering with this thing it's going to be nice to just have the you know just pack away in your pit bag this little extra item here and then you're able to do on the spot little fixes if your your track maybe doesn't have a kind of a, a public uh, soldering station. Always nice to have, you can kind of pull this out, help friends out, whatever you need to do. So, well guys, that's gonna be it for this unboxing. Stay tuned for the next video showing this thing all powered up and running. Well guys, comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over now.